to Josh and Nate Can't Skate. Skate. Today we're assembling another board. Uh, this time it's my board. Uh, last time we assembled Josh's new, set, uh, new setup. So today I've got mine. So this also is from Reliance Skateboard. This is a Brian Sumner Pro model. Little Noah's Ark, little cute creatures there. Okay. And so, uh, big fan of uh, Reliance as well as Brian Sumner. So check him out, good stuff here. Um, unfortunately, I've already gripped my board. Uh, this Not is as well as you gripped my board. No, uh, because I, I learned on this one what not to do. Yep. And with yours, we did what you're supposed to do. Right. So, uh, But it can be cleaned up. It can be cleaned up. I will clean this up because it looks kind of skanky. Uh, but I love this grip tape. This is from Mob Grip. Uh, it's very cool. They have all kinds of designs. You can get ones that don't look quite so girly. Uh, they've got. I like the girly look. I do too. Yeah. I think this one works because you got the kitten and the butterfly. We do like the kitten. I am like a kitten. <laughs> and then uh, you got the Noah's Ark on the other side. So there's a nice animal thing here. Mm -hmm. So and you're gonna see that throughout this, except for one thing. So I will do some unwrapping here. Josh, you can help me out here. And you also have the Crux trucks, the, the lightweight, hollow light. Yes, feather light because they are hollowed out right here in the center. That makes them a lot lighter than if that were solid metal there. And they also have a fancy uh, leopard print. So in keeping with the animal theme of this oh, setup. I like that. I like this. So yes. Yeah, so let me get this trash here. And like before. Oh, you want me to put the trash in my pocket this time? Okay. Let's let's do it differently. Let's do an opposite here. Yeah. There we go. You don't have as much trash as I have. I do not. Yes, you are correct. Mm -hmm. I have a little bit. So we've got uh, riser pads from Lux. Was eight inch. Uh, they are also eighth inch like well, Josh's. They are actually quarter inch, and mine were quarter inches as well. Ah, uh, son of a gun. I had the, uh, the sizes wrong there. All right, so wheels, these uh, are from, these are 56 millimeter wheels from a company called Better Skate Wheels. Uh, three guys got together and figured out how to make a better skate wheel. Now, I'm they, seeing these, Nate, and uh, I'll wait until you open them up. Okay. Uh, they promise that they're going to be faster, more responsive, and no flat spots. So oh. we, will be, we will be checking those for that. Now, this uh, is an independent company. Where are they located it? or based? Uh, that's a good question. I unfortunately do not know. I tried to figure that out on their website, but okay. they are made here in America. Right. Great price. Very right. nice. Here's some trash for you. Trash. I highly recommend one of those wheels. Yes, you may. So the only thing is, is I couldn't get, uh, they were sold out of the animal print one, so these are donut prints. Which, so not in keeping with my animal theme. You but, lost your theme there. But I do want to give these guys a chance, so but you know excited what? about these wheels. Animals often mm -hmm. eat leftovers. And that is true. Donut, and I, I'm pretty sure they eat donuts. I'm pretty sure they love donuts. Yes. Okay, uh, in keeping with my theme of uh, parts made in America, American Blues uh, bearings. These are from a company uh, actually out of Houston, uh, one okay. of the big skate shops down there. Local Texas company. Yes, so uh, very excited about that. Um, I've never used these bearings before, I've never used these wheels before, so. Uh, I can't wait for you to see you know, how everything goes with that. Yes, I'm very excited to see uh, as well, so. Okay, it looks like you got so they're nice and looks like they've oh, removed cool. and everything. Very cool. So I like that with the, the blue shields and the cool yeah. thing is, check that out. They match the blue sprinkles on your donut. Completely happy accident right there. Yeah. Very nice. Alright, and like uh, like Josh's rig, we've got one and a quarter inch independent hardware. Bolts slash nuts, nuts and bolts. Yes. The nuts and bolts of the thing. Which keeps everything together. All right, so I'll spread these out here. So now I'm kind of afraid to pop these bolts through your grip tape, Nate, because I don't want to ruin the kitty. Oh, the kitty theme here? Yeah, the kitty theme. I'm afraid it might take. So All right. maybe there's a better way in the future to push your bolts through the uh, grip tape without actually tearing it. That's a good question, Josh. Maybe going from the well, you, you, why would you go for the bottom side instead of the top side? Well, because for one, uh, it's 
kind of hard to tell where the heck the okay. uh, where the heck they are. And then two, if uh, your screw head. Oh, and <laughs> and two, if your screw head actually goes onto the grip tape, it may stick out a little bit, right? And yes. so it would not be flush with the board, therefore catching your shoe or whatever when doing various tricks. And Nate, that was a great push through right there. Did you just kind of screw it through? No, uh, actually what I did was I just used the kind of gravity to kind of let it push itself through. Uh huh. And it may be also because you've had um, this grip tape on for a while that the glue solidified onto your board. Certainly. And so possible. that may be something to think about in the future is put your grip tape on, let the glue solidify a little bit before puncturing the grip tape with your hardware. Otherwise, you're going to get tears like we did on uh, my video in your grip tape. So that looks really good. That, that's looking really good. It is all a learning experience. We are not experts by any it stretch. stretch. May, but maybe this will be a how-to of what not to do. That, that's always a possibility. <laughs> Those are just as valuable as what to do. Right. You did a good job. Thank you. Thank you for that positive You're affirmation. Welcome. You're welcome. That's what I do. punched in there in the grip tape now. Oh, look how well that was done. Yes, uh, sorry about the viewer. What the hell? <laughs> that was done so well, Nate. Yes, yes, it was. Look at the kitty. The cute little kitty. Meow. All right, Josh, you gonna help here? Uh, no. <laughs> Still pissed. You know what, so it may not actually matter that the bolt heads go on top of the grip tape because whenever you tighten these down, it will pull um, it will pull the heads into the grip tape and cause it to be flush and into the wood also. Okay, alright, so we'll set up this. Let's get this up. Alright, so as we learned last time. We need to put these with the outside here. Yep. yep. Alright, so we'll just put these <laughs> structure 